Good afternoon. Uh, here na in the Philippines, Region 7 in Cebu. Region 7 of the Philippines in Cebu. Uh, today is October 14, Monday of 2019. It's been a long while that I haven't updated YouTube about my beachy house of what's been happening here. Um, what I've been doing lately was that, or is that, I've been developing the trellis of the tomato right there. But before we get there, I will show you what I did last morning. Uh, uh, since I uh, uh, we've been we've done a uh, fixing in the bitter gourds trellis right there on top of me and yeah. yeah, let you see to make it more clearly because the sunshine is trying to reflect on the camera <laughs> Because it is afternoon already and the light seems not to be so bright. So as you see, the trellis is right under the wooden frame of the house, of the wooden uh, uh, roof frame of the house, right under it. And right here beside me is the hikama. Hikama in in our local local term here in Cebu our local language is Visaya and we call it Singkamas but in English it is Hikama so the Hikama right here behind uh, beside me is already almost I think it's it is um, seven months already from the from the start it was planted from the time it was planted and as you can see it has it has thicker vine body already and it goes right it goes right uh, yeah, from here On the top, it was trailing up there until the that lag on the tree, and I have to clear it. I have to clear out the all the mature part of the hikama and also the branches that have the have the leaves. And I only left this one, this part here, only this. I think the hikama can survive because it is. It is not prone to many insects because it has chemicals that that seems to be poisonous to them. So the hikama here is the one very much um, uh, very much growing a lot in this veggie house because the insect tends to avoid it because of its chemicals maybe uh, so I cleared out the the vines of the the vine stems of the hikama that is hovering already on the trellis of the bitter cord because um, uh, since uh, okay so as I said clear out the stems of the hikama, the mature part that has been, it had been climbing up there because it's been taking over the trellis of the bitter gourd and the bitter gourd, the bitter gourd here is already almost a year old and I'm trying to um, make it still produce even if it's, it, even if it's matured already uh, um, reach already its maturity age of producing enough or to its limit of producing um, I try to 
try to make it still to do since I have here I have made a water solution that can support it until it's last that it can still produce I will make it possible because if if I will have to remove it then I will have to plant another ampalaya or bitter corn so since it's already a bit older um, time by time it will try to Time by time, the older stems will uh, mature out and dry, and another new stems will be replaced. So I, I also cleared out the dead stems, and since the hikama stems are taking over the almost half of the trailless part of the bitter gourd, the new stems of the bitter gourd are being. Um, overpowered by it like the sun uh, the, uh, the sunshine uh, is not able to um, expose the uh, the stems of the bitter gourd so it's not able to flower well it's it's like being barren for a while <laughs> and I have just also cleared out the dried stems of the ampalaya so for now it hasn't yet bared female uh, female flowers but at least we can see a healthy male flower here over there uh, wait. hope you can see it at least you can see that's a sign that it is it is still able it will still be able to bear a fruit and you also have there a female flower just one it's being beaten by worms and the time by that time that uh, the dead stems are not being cleared out I thought that all of the stems um, hovering around the tree leaves are we're still fine but then they are already dead stems so therefore the bitter cord will time by time replace its old stem with newer stems so we have to clear it out so that's my option <laughs> clearing it so that it will still be bearable of, flower, of fruits so the hikama that I removed uh, and I cut the stem cuts are here. I haven't still um, kept it. I'm supposed to put it in the compost, but I decided that I'll let it dry for a while and then I will move it to the compost transfer it when it's already dry because it's too much for a volume in the uh, compost basket. In the bucket. Uh, was that laundry bucket compost that I made? It's too much volume for it, so I decided it, uh, I need to dry it first. And you know, uh, and as I said lately, that the insects avoid the hikama, so it is able to grow well itself and bear some flowers and even bear some pods. This one. This is its fruit. I have collected it here so that I can show it to the rest later. I and it's been bitten. I don't know what happened to the insect that bit this one. <laughs> if it's still okay. See, these are pods, and it can be eaten as I've read. They, they, these are vegetables, but too much of eating of this seems to uh, affect the brain the brain system of all the mammals like it will cause to parkinson's disease <laughs> so if you don't want do you don't want to experience that and you are fond of eating the pods of the hikama then just eat just enough for you not too much that is what's been happening in my garden it's been raining and the woolly bears, you know, in my recent vlogs, 
I have featured about the woolly bear on the lagoon living on our lagoon tree. This, uh, those are the hairy worms. Those are the itchy worms that we kept on terming it here with my, uh, with my nephews, niece and nephews. It is an itchy worm or hairy worm. These are woolly bears and they will become moves. They are larvae of moths. I think so because mostly they are from moot family. So the leaves here were being eaten by the woody bears also here. They are being traversing here also in the alugbati or the uh, spinach. And look also <laughs> with the insulin plant. It's almost very, as you see. To damage the leaves but it's still living it's still surviving well it doesn't matter to them as long as you keep on watering them the plant will be healthy because it's normal it's nature's characteristic to have to be in one ecosystem and they survive to each other right okay and this is what I've been doing for this has been like this since I forget. I think four days already. I have fixed the trellis. I removed the wooden thing, this one, because it is so. It seems not very neat for the plant, and there's a lot of straws. And it's. I think maybe it will invite some molds or I don't know some disease. So I just. I decided to. Find some scraps there in the garage, and this one is the um, a wire from a fence, just like this one here in the. Uh, this one, this fence, I just pulled one by one of its strands and form it double strands and form it a a ring in the uh, for the trellis of the tomato. And I remove all the straws which I tie the tomato branches so that they can hang on freely and just be moved by the wind so that they will be pollinated. Oh, it's not a cone, it's supposed to be an inverted cone but it seems to be a cone, a different inverted cone. I mean, it is an inverted cone. It's supposed to be not an inverted cone, but it is an inverted cone. It's much smaller hole here and bigger hole on the, at the bottom. And there are, that's why I fixed this because there are new tomatoes that's been growing on the bigger, on the bigger soil media. There, there's a sack, this one. There at the middle. It's it is accommodating at least, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, more than 10 tomatoes. I don't know if that can, if it can sustain that 10 tomatoes, but I think I included already that it can because well, uh, some of my pots there are very small and it is, it is able to make the tomatoes bear fruits. And this one I have already <laughs> because I I tried to lean it there. I didn't I got it from the ground. I didn't allow it to hang on the ground so it seems to be upset. It doesn't want to be destructed. See? It's reacting on the heat that is exposed to it. It doesn't want the heat because it is used to being on the ground. And I also transfer the this one because it's very thin I'm expecting it to react well on the sunshine because it, it was not reacting well under the ampalaya or the bitter gourd because it, it was hidden or being under the shade as you see the ampalaya part here or the bitter gourd is already very clean very spacious already because I removed the straw trellis. It's just trailing already on 
on this wire, I I entwine it with the wire. There. And uh, uh, this one, the, it is the, it is a stem. I put it together and tie it together with the main branch, main vine branch. And like that. So, it will be very spacious and the air will just go over the place and the plants can breathe well. And we can avoid insects from hovering here also. And look at the malong guy. <laughs> very long already. We've been taking the leaves here day after day to leave so so that we can still have another set of two leaves for the next day for Malangahi soup. And I will be cutting this one so that it will have it will have more branches. I'm sorry for the malungai, it will be very sad for it to be <laughs> Have to have to cut this one so that it will have many branches. There's no need to be sad about it because that's the best way to make it um, grow a lot of of its leaves. So these are the onions already. We then we keep on cutting this one, and these are its new leaves. They've been grown on the cut or the cut area the cut part and these are new leaves and I'm, I'm planting another set and I've also planted something here also okay we'll go on the papaya we'll check in it this has been our papaya it's been quite a while since I haven't shown you how, how it is already and that's it it keeps it, it keeps on having its flowers into fruits but it will not it doesn't grow beyond that it just remained that that size and later on it will fall it will fall just look at that uh, by the top that there there is a cluster of flower three three flower on uh, on one because I've been trying to put the solution by this part because I've realized that this part here are full of this kind of chunks of stones, cements. So I haven't realized before that it is a bunch of pile of uh, big cements. And I thought that it is a mound of soil, but it's not. It is it is a pile of these are piles of um, big cements and as you see even though it uh, underground is not really uh, uh, total soil and the only the upper part is being covered with soil and some parts of the under the ground but it's totally almost uh, almost all of cement cement blocks, cemented blocks so that's why uh, the papaya wasn't able to or isn't able uh, will not be, or wasn't able to um, uh, develop the develop its fruit but maybe if the ground if the ground will be um, more on soil maybe it is very much um, able to make uh, to make it into a fruit also the pepper cayenne see it's having its difficulty of bearing a fruit but 
you will see that the leaves are very green because I kept on I kept on watering it with the water solution or water tea. So I'll just have this for um frag uh, refre fragrance. How do you cut it? Uh, air refreshener because the papaya flower and the tree is really very fragrant it's very air refreshing and it's cool here when you go under it it, uh, it uh, contributes to the coolness of the place also and the birds are trying to shelter also here and it's really fun looking at them they're beautiful big birds. So, so I think that ends my vlog for now because it's been a longer vlog. It's, it's been a uh, everything one week, uh, one week, uh, one week plus that I haven't um, updated about you. Uh, updated YouTube about my about here because uh, there's no so much uh, new in here it's been raining the whole time and you know insects are just hovering <laughs> they just love the juiciness of the leaves so I hope you enjoyed watching even though there are sad parts of it but we keep on learning the sad, that those sad parts will uh, help us keep on moving to learn more so hope you enjoyed and um, please uh, click on the like like the video and hit also the bell so you, you would be updated you could get updated or subscribe to also be updated okay See you next time also.